So in the last episode, we really, really struggled. After like an hour and turning down the actual difficulty, I finally managed to finish that event. I fucking did it! I fucking did it, finally! <laughs> and it's now quite clear to me that VIP cars are not supposed to be used in races. So we're going to take this Evo and we're going to slightly transform it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this Evo from a VIP Evo to a time attack Evo. That means a huge wing. All of the, the pointy bits. Big fat ass. <laughs> huge ass. Hey, you can't have no ass if you ain't thick on the thighs, bitch. <laughs> And you know what? Just because I'm nice, we're going to give you some new shoes. Now I know what most of you are thinking. Oh my god! Wow! You know what? I'd, I'd be thinking the exact same thing, but we're not done yet. You know, I just realised it. I don't know why I do this all the time, but I always, like, start recording these videos, and then I realise that I actually don't have my headphones on, and, like, I can't hear shit. Okay, that's really weird. So all the DLC has been taken off the Xbox Live Store, but we've still got all of this up here. So I guess we're just going to go from most downloaded and see what we've got. Now, I know that Rio's Evo is probably going to come up from Pro Street. I don't really want to want to use that. Um... I guess I'm just probably going to have a look. That is quite tacky, and it's very, very, very stereotypical, but I think that actually might look quite nice with the kit we have on. Am I really struggling to find a nice design? The most downloaded design can't be 174, surely. Like, this game's been out for Lord knows how long. I actually genuinely can't find a nice design. That's quite surprising, actually. I thought that was going to be quite easy. Right, in that case, what, what we're going to do is we're going to get... We're going to change it from, from black to nice metallic red. Doesn't that look interesting? Why on earth the spoiler is fully red as well? I don't know. Let's change that to black. And I think uh, we're just going to leave it at that, to be honest. I don't really want to do much else. Now, you're probably thinking, and honestly, I've only just realized this as well. Yes, Cam, you put a big wing on the car. That doesn't actually change its performance. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm thoroughly aware. I've only just realized that myself. <laughs> you're going to my diamond body. Right, so we need to get this to the top of B class. I'm going to have a mess around with a few of the knickknack. Paddywhack, give my dog a slap. Oh, oh! Uh, once I've slapped the dog, I'll be back and we um, I'll sh I'll show you the program. Yep. Right, so essentially what you've missed is I've decided to put a big ass turbo in and then I also upgraded the clutch because it's really annoying how the clutch and the transmission is an instant. So I got rid of that, put the race one in and I think I put a flywheel just to put it up there to 500 and that's pretty much it. Now I haven't even checked the events on the map. For all I know, there might actually not even be any events for this car. So we've got this one over here, which is a C class event. If this one up here isn't a B class event, I'm going to kill myself. Right, thank lord it is a B class event, but can we even use it? Or we'll drive cars only. Let's get in there. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and drive over to this event. And I will see you guys once I'm there with this revised Evo. And we're going to see if things are actually any different. Or whether I'm still shit. And you know what I'm going to do just because I have upgraded my car now. Is I'm going to go to my profile, difficulty. And we're going to put it back up to hard. If you're going to bone me, bone me hard. Oh, sometimes I want it. Okay, so it looks like we're going off-road again, which isn't the greatest because I'm pretty sure I've got race suspension as well on this car, but we're going to see how this goes. Again, we are on hard. We've got the same person to beat this Ramona person. You're going to get beat, my friend. Hopefully, my newly found big turbo solves all my problems. Because when has a, a big turbo not solved problems? Right, so I'm like, like 20 seconds into this race and we're still like last, like pretty much. Right now, unlike before, even though we are very slowly gaining places, I'm not struggling to keep up, which I guess is a good sign. I can't lie and say that this car doesn't look pretty sick as well. With that big ass wing, there's something really like cool about this Evo 10. And I don't really see many Evo 10s that look like this. There's a bit of a gap between me and that Ramona girl right now. And it's coming down to the last corners, I think. Oh, this is really, really tight. Come on! Go! Right, break. Around oh, she didn't break. I don't want another one of these episodes, that's the thing. I don't want another one of these episodes where I'm sat here for like 30 minutes doing the same thing. Let's do this. I'm not even going to say a word. I'm not going to say a single word. Obviously you guys can't see this, 
but like because the tint of these sunglasses are orange and it's I think it's sunset from what I can tell I, I literally can't see anything. It's just I'm, I'm just literally seeing orange on my screen right now I actually need to take this. I actually can't see it's, it's not even sunset. I'm sick of you <laughs> Bullying me hard is a lot harder than I actually gave it credit for to be honest when I started this let's play I thought you know what we're gonna be able to do this. No, it's not happening. Immediately though, in the podium already, which is a good sign, because it took me a while to get there in the last race. If I'm gonna catch her anywhere, it's gonna be this upcoming section right here. I've seen the opportunity. I'm so much over you. Cut on the inside. Oh, I'm chopping you up like sliced bread. That was a bit dirty, but you know what? I don't even care because I am a dirty boy. First place. We are not going to have a repeat of the last episode, which is a good thing. Right, so if we go to the next event, it's over here. So we've got one here, and that is a C-Class race with US cars only, which I mean, is, uh, which I assume means we're going to have to use the Mustang. And we've also got a showcase event here, which is a balloon one. And we get a Audi Quattro, which to be honest, I wouldn't even mind using. I'm much more interested in driving an Audi Quattro than I am a Mustang. So that's what we're exactly we're going to go with. We're going to go ahead and do that event. Again, you're going to skip the journey because I don't want you guys to watch it because it's just a bit boring. Um, so I'll see you guys once we're actually in the event. Hey, I hear that a classic car has been found in No, I'm sick of it. No, I don't want to find a barn find. I'm no. Am I the only one that's getting a bit sick of barn finds in modern games nowadays? Like, every game has barn finds. I don't... I don't care. <laughs> Racing a hot air balloon? Tell me you're not excited. And hit the LZ before he does, you'll win the car. I mean, like, hot air balloons seem kind of slow. Like, they're just balloons. It's not, it's not, it's not the most exciting thing I've ever done, to be honest. <laughs> but the most important thing is that if we do this, we're going to win this Audi Quattro, which, like I've just said a minute ago, I actually kind of want to use. And I imagine it will be uh, eligible for a lot of the all-wheel drive European events we're going to have up, coming up. Um, and I wouldn't mind really upgrading it either. We're probably going to have a lot of options to get a lot of cars in the Let's Play, you know, obviously going forward. But this is definitely one I want to use. I think some of the rally cars generally are cars I want to use. I am so confused to how this works. But where am I racing? The There's multiple balloons. Which one am I racing? It's really interesting going back to this horizon and seeing how they did the off-roading. Very similar to Needs to be Payback in a way in terms of like, it's obviously this, there's areas which are guarded off. But it's all kind of leading you in a certain way. It's very linear, which I much prefer personally to the kind of open sandbox type thing. I just kind of prefer like there actually being some sense to where you're driving and you're not just driving, you know, into the middle of nowhere. It just seems a bit more laid out and sorted to me. Now, I'm actually not even sure whether we're going to win this race because I don't think I did awfully well, but then again, it's scripted. Did I win? I mean, that balloon is moving pretty, pretty, pretty fat. We lost. We didn't... What? I could have swore to God that we... No, we didn't do that. Uh, well, either way, either way, we've still got the Audi Quattro, which you can see right here. I think, honestly, the next step at this point is for me to go off camera, do some of the um, Rivals events and do some of the kind of like races around the map challenges and get some money together so we can actually do something pretty major. Why does this bitch keep interrupting me? Did I give you permission? Yeah, I feel like at this point, we just kind of need some money. We've got 91k, which is to be fair, was a lot more than me and she started with. So I think we started around with 40k. But I kind of, at this point, just want to, like, get some money together to do a proper build, you know? We did the Evo, but honestly, I don't think I want to use the Evo too much after this because, obviously, it's a starter car. Um, with the, you know, variety of cars in this game, I don't think it just makes sense. So give, actually, let me know your ideas on cars you want to see, you know, built for the next video, and that'll be really interesting to see, and I can actually choose one from the comments down below. Um, but that's been it for me today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next one, you guys have an awesome, stay safe, and peace.